Hey guys, it's Mr. Little Cloth here, and today instead of this Monster Legends Leaks video, I have all of the leaked events for this week and the main event for next week in Monster Legends. So let's go ahead and get into the main event for next week, and then we'll get into this week's events. Alright, so next week on Friday, the bounty hunt for that new monster down there starts. He looks pretty cool. I do like his adult design much more than his baby design. So hopefully you guys are able to get him. And hopefully they make some changes to the bounty hunt because last time it was not that good of an event. In my opinion, I just didn't really enjoy it. So now let's go ahead and get into this week's events. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday have all the same events. They will all have the Jakuna Shrine Maze, Black Feather Challenge, and Collector's Breeding. So the Jakuna Shrine Maze is pretty good. You guys can get Jakuna High. It is pretty easy if you guys spend your coins during the 30% discount. And in my opinion, the Black Feather Challenge isn't really worth it because you do need to spend gems and there are better monsters nowadays than Black Feather. And the Collector's Breeding is okay. You can get some good mythics out of that and it is completely free to do, obviously, since it is a breeding event. And then on Thursday, the Collector's Breeding swaps off for the Capitalized Breeding. That will actually have some mythics in it too, so that is worth it too. And we already talked about the other two events on that day. And then on Friday, the Wormhole Tailors actually opens up. You can start collecting tokens right now, but you cannot get the monster until Friday. And then there's the Klimbert Breeding that starts on Friday. That is where you will be able to get a brand new corrupted mythic named Klimbert. And the Elite Days start too. It's not really worth it. You just get some legendaries out of that. And then on Saturday, the Top Breeding starts, which is decent. You can get some Mythics out of that. And the Tremor and Spawny Path start, which are good. You can rank up Spawny if you have them, or you can try to get Tremor if you don't have Spawny. And then Sunday actually has the same exact events as on Saturday, except the Clembert Breeding will no longer be going on on Sunday. So yeah, those are all the leaked events for this week and the main event for next week in Monster Legends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.